Hey guys, it's Jessica from Peace Love Books, and today I'm here with a book haul. I've been putting this off. I've already been trying to do my thumbnail, and it just like makes me super hot and sweaty because holding a ton of books is hard. And I have a lot of books to share with you. Book hauls are not my favorite to film because they are my least favorite to edit. I love showing you guys all the books I got, but going through and editing book hauls is honestly the video that takes me the longest to edit because there's just so many books to get through, so many cuts I have to do. So I'm gonna not spend too much time on each book, but I will try my best. I have a lot to get through. I've been buying a lot of books. I don't buy too many typically, but I wanted to buy some of my favorite indie romances. There's that whole supply chain thing happening where books are apparently going to be really hard to get in the next few months. I will link down below Elliot's video from Elliot Brooks. She explained it a little bit because of a tweet she saw better than I could explain it. There is a shortage of paper and there's a shortage of a lot of different things in producing things and like shipping things and so books might be hard to find. So of course that meant like I have to buy all the books but I also got a lot of used books and a lot from publishers and a few from authors that I'm really excited for so I'm just gonna go ahead and get to the books. The first one I'm so so excited to have gotten and that is a copy copy of Forget Me Not from QB Tyler. She sent this to me and she did sign it and I am beyond excited that she sent this to me. If you guys don't know, this is one of my favorite books that I read this year. One of my new favorite books of all time and I had the special edition from, I think it was Bell Book Box and that's the one that I always show in my videos and she sent me the original copy. So thank you so much to QB Tyler for sending this to me. I love it. It's Amnesia, Marriage and Trouble and literally two of my favorite tropes. So I of course loved it and I'm so excited to add this to my collection. Then I had to buy a signed copy of Tristic Sana by Penelope Douglas. She had copies of these on her website and my friend Lacey from Lacey Book Lovers sent a message to our group chat and was like, this is literally like only a couple dollars more than it is on Amazon because it's a chunky book so it's more expensive. So I, of course, had to grab it and got the personalized signed copy and I'm excited to add this to my Penelope Douglas collection because I think I have all of her books. So of course I needed to add her newest one to my collection. The next few I bought on Amazon. So the first one is Bittersweet Addiction by QB Tyler. This one's the second book in the duet and it's a marriage in trouble and I don't know who she ends up with though. I think it's a love triangle between her, her husband, and her marriage counselor. <laughs> and I know it sounds ridiculous but I love angsty forbidden romances so I'm actually really excited to read this book and this duet. Then I decided to get Reaper by A. Zavarelli because I was obsessed with Crow and I think it set up the next two books so well that I'm very excited to read this. They're mafia romances, that's all I know about the series but I can't wait to get to this. Then I picked up The Affair by Gianna Darling. This is book one in her... Sin's Evolution of Sin series and it's three book series so it's a trilogy. This one's really short. I know it has to do with cheating like literally the hero has an affair with someone I think because he is dating her sister and I know that because her sister's duet is the anti-heroes and love duet and that's also connected to the enthralled series. I forget what that series is called but it's the Lombardi family so all of Gianna's series kind of interconnect which I really love so I have to get this one and so I only need the third one now but I'm gonna read it because I want to finish all of Gianna's backlist so that I can do a video on her but I have this now. Then I was I was freaking out so I kept on seeing everybody on TikTok getting this book and I was kind of sad because I used to always get this author's arcs and then I was like have I been replaced by TikTok but I was sent the new Colleen Hoover book. I'm so incredibly excited that they sent this to me. It is through the PR company and I'm just already on their list so I did end up getting it a little later than the TikTok people so that's why I thought I was not going to get this book. But this is Colleen's new book and it sounds very, very emotional. It's Reminders of Him. It comes out in January. I don't, let me know, should I read it now and like wait and post my reading vlog around release date. Should I read, post my reading vlog as soon as I finish and just do non-spoiler? Let me know because I always do my reading vlogs of reading Colleen Hoover's books, but I don't know if I want to wait until January to read this. So let me know what I should do. Should I post it now? Post it when it releases? But my sister's already <laughs> called dibs on it, taking it after me, and I know my dad's probably excited to read this too. So, and that coworker is. So everybody knows that I got this on Instagram and everybody's like, oh my gosh, I need to read it. So I'll probably pass it around to some people once I finish it. So that's why I also want to finish it early. So it says that the main character, I don't know if this is the main character, but she served five years in prison for a tragic mistake and she's hoping to reunite with her four-year-old daughter, but she's burnt bridges in her life and then the local bar owner is one of the few remaining links to her daughter. So it sounds so good. So I'm very just shocked that I have this and beyond excited that I have this. 
I was also sent second chance contract by M Robinson this was actually named like alpha CEO I think yeah so it still says that actually at the top of the book um, and the inside up here but apparently like Amazon hated that word in like the word alpha and like was not pushing her books or like doing the ads for them like they were supposed to I guess so she had to change the title like immediately after release date which is really un unfortunate but I'm excited that I got sent this copy and it just came out and it's I'm pretty sure it's like a billionaire oh it's a second chance billionaire romance and a best friend's baby sister romance so I'm definitely reading this in September or October probably September gonna get to it kind of soon I think but I'm excited also with that Amazon order I did buy Savage Lover by Sophie Lark this one is book three in the Brutal Birthright series and I love the series so much I think that the main character has to like ask the guy for help like he's the only one who can help her so um, she's in trouble with a dirty cop sounds so good. I'm excited to read more from Sophie Lark. And then Sonia sent me a couple books and I'm really excited for them because I've been meaning to read Liza James. I'm pretty sure she wrote Vibe and I really want to read that. I bought the ebook of that one but she sent me Faded and Descent and it is I think a duet and it's paranormal and I think it has to do with fallen angels because she said that I've been forced into this life I never knew existed. How do I begin to comprehend the reality of fallen angels? So and I think that he's a fallen angel. These are about two different sets of characters. So I'm super excited to have these especially for the fall spooky season so I cannot wait to read these. And then I had to splurge. I did not, I hate spending this much money on books but one of my all-time favorite authors was releasing special edition hardbacks of her books. There were $25 each but I had to buy them. I had to. I could not. I knew I would regret not buying them. They're only available for two weeks. The next three are going to be releasing I think in December and so I had to. I had to buy Gianna Darling's Fallen Men series with the female characters on the covers and they were all hardback so we have Lessons in Corruption, Cressida on this cover, then we have Lou on Welcome to the Dark Side and then we have Harley on the cover of this one, Harley Rose. So... I love this. I love them so much. They're so pretty and so I I couldn't not buy them. So I did. It was $80 for all three of these in the end, but I had to add them to my collection. I just had to. And then a subscriber named Katie sent me a couple books, one for my classroom that I've already put aside to bring to school, but then she also sent me A Wicked Kind of Husband by Mia Vinci, which I'm pretty sure both Lacey and Samantha have loved these books. I think the second one is a Beauty and the Beast retelling, I think, but this one's the first in the series, and they're super pretty. They are independently published historical romances, and it is a marriage of convenience, and they had never met each other so this says that she's never seen her husband only once on their wedding day two years earlier and I think now he's shown up and it's that sounds so good I'm so excited to read this then from source books I was sent a spot of trouble by Terry Wilson this one is a dog romance and it sounds really cute their dogs get mixed up and they are very different kinds of dogs and so then I think they don't start off on the right foot either they don't really like each other and then I think there's like softball games and it's all summertime 4th of July so this sounds adorable and I'm excited to read it Berkeley romance sent me these three romances that recently came out or no they've all released now so the Royals next year I've already read they sent me a finished copy. I love this. It's a bodyguard romance. He's a bodyguard for the royals that move in next door to her. Super adorable. So excited that I have this. And then we have The Heart Principle by Helen Huang, which I'm so scared to read. A couple people have already messaged me like, when are you reading this? I'm scared because people have said it's really serious and really sad and I love those kind of romances, but you have to be in the right mood to read those romances. So, and it's Kwan's book. We've all been dying for this. So hopefully I enjoy this one. And then they did send me a finished copy of The Love Hypothesis and this one has been getting like rave reviews on TikTok which has been scaring me because when they hype a book I usually don't like it but Lacey did like this book so I hope I like it let me know if you read this and if you liked it because like literally everyone's been obsessed with it and last time that happened was it happened one summer by Tessa Bailey and that one I gave three stars so I'm scared then from a Wattpad books I was sent the hoodie girl and this one is about a girl who is used to hiding behind her hoodie and she meets the star I think he's a star quarterback at school and they end up sharing a lot more in common than she had originally thought and it sounds really good I'm excited I am very intrigued by Wattpad books and how they publish books that are 
from Wattpad, so I am excited to read this one. Then I was sent a box of like random books from source books that some of them are old and some of them are new. One was Neon Gods by Katie Robert, which I put aside because they've already sent me a copy of that book. They also sent me Hot Ticket by Olivia Cunning. I have a few of these books already in this series, but I don't think I have this one. They are Rockstar Romances, so I'm actually really excited to have that one. And I also got Against the Ropes by Sarah Castile. This one is a fighter romance, which I'm really into those. So I'm also really excited for this one. The one I'm not so excited for is Freed by E.L. James. I have no interest in reading this, so I'll probably end up giving it away sometime. I have a ton of books set aside to give away, so we'll see. But then I also was sent Under Her Skin by Adriana Anders, which I'm actually really excited for because Adriana Anders wrote White Out, which I loved. I didn't love her second book, though, so I want to try this one out. I don't know. He's a... Oh, it says her body is his canvas, so I'm assuming he is a tattoo artist. So she has a lot of scars from a, an abusive relationship and he helps cover them up. So this one actually sounds really, really good. So I'm excited to have this. Then from the publisher, I was sent A Lot Like Adios by Alexis Daria. I didn't love the first book in this, but not because of the writing. The plot just didn't really work for me. So I'm really excited to try out the second book in here. And this one says she is has a thriving freelance business as a graphic designer, but her love life is non-existent. And then... The only guy that ever made her happy was a guy who disappeared 13 years ago. So I think this is a second chance romance and he is a successful co-owner of LA's hottest celebrity gym and she is brought on board to spearhead the new marketing campaign. And so he left for a reason in the past that he left when they were 18. So this actually sounds really, really good and I'm excited to read it. Then I was at Half Price Books and found The Huntress by Kate Quinn on clearance for $2. So I decided to pick it up. I really loved The Alice Network and I want to read some more historical fiction. So I got it. I don't know what else it's about. I just know that it's historical fiction and that's really all this says. In the aftermath of war, the hunter becomes the hunted. So I'm excited to have this. Try it out. Be a little different. Speaking of, I also end up picking up I'm Thinking of Ending Things by Ian Reid. I've just heard this is a really weird read and I think it's part thriller maybe. I don't know. I guess it's a Netflix series to a film and um, it's short so I got it for the spooky season. It says you will be scared but you won't know why. I actually really want to read thrillers right now. I don't know why because it's it's fall coming up but I have this so. I was also sent Forgotten in Death by JD Robb and I feel bad because these are like is this book like 60 and I read the first one and I enjoyed it enough but not enough to like want to actually read all 60 books but I think you can read these as standalones let me know if I can because maybe I'll read this because I, I usually get sent the new JD Robb books from um the publisher I really like romantic suspense but I think these are more suspense and like mystery than they are romance now. Let me know if I can read this as a standalone because I will if I can. I have mostly historical romances left and the first box is actually from a publisher which I was so excited for and what's funny is that I actually I get my mail still sent to my parents' house because that's when I started blogging and I just keep it there because I never know if I'm going to move. And I've already moved a couple times since I started blogging and I didn't have to like change address because it was already sent to my parents' house. So I was on my way to my parents' house, stopped at Barnes & Noble, picked up a book, got to their house, got a package there, and it was one of the books I bought. So I left it for my mom. And so the book that I had bought was actually The Princess Stakes by Amelie Howard. And then I was sent an arc of the second one, which is Rules for Heiresses. So I bought this because I was like, Sourcebooks hasn't sent it to me, and usually I get their books, and this came out early this year, and so I was like, okay, I probably won't get it from them, I'll just buy it myself, and um, <laughs> they sent it to me. My mother was excited, but I am pretty sure the author rewrote this after some criticism. I think he owned a plantation, and so she changed that. I'm excited to read these. She's a princess on the run. I'm excited to have these. I'm ex very excited to read them. It's an author I've been wanting to try out. I also got these two by Susanna Allen in their historical paranormal romances, which is perfect for the fall. So we have a wolf in Duke's clothing, and then we have a most unusual Duke. He's a wolf shifter. He's a bear shifter. These are going to be fun. I'm excited to have those as well. I was also sent two from Anna Harrington series, and I actually own this one already. So I don't own this one, but I think I've read both of these. Yes. 
I've already read these, so I'm excited to have them. I just need to add this to my giveaway pile, but I'm excited to add this to my collection because I also got the third book from Sourcebooks already. So I love Anna Harrington, so I'm excited I got a couple of her books. Then I got two from authors I haven't heard of before. So we have The Duke Who Loved Me by Jane Ashford, and then we have Fortune Favors the Duke by Kristen Vaden. So I am excited to try out some new historical romance authors. The next five I was sent from Avon, I believe all of them are from Avon, yes. And then all the rest are books that I bought used so I was sent the Viscount Made Me Do It by Diana Quincy. I'm really excited to have this physical copy. I did give this three and a half stars but I love Diana Quincy so I'm really excited to add this to my collection. She's a bone setter. It's a pretty interesting romance. I just had a couple problems with it but I still enjoyed it. Then I was sent The Lady's Guide to Celestial Mechanics by Olivia Waite but my copy <laughs> is like miscut a little bit and so I think I can still read it but like the top is like cut off for only the first 20 pages. So hopefully I can still read it. I actually just discovered my library has this on audio. They finally got it in, so I'll probably listen to the audiobook, but thank you to Avon for this still. And then I got Bombshell by Sarah McLean. I was actually sent this ARC two days before release date, so I didn't get to read it before it came out, but I'm excited to have this. I really wanna read it. She has a reputation and she is not scared to like embrace that reputation I'm pretty sure. Then I was sent two that come out next week so uh, next week or the week after but I'm really really excited for these and they're gorgeous and that is The Duchess Hunt and then The Devil's Own Duke. So this one's Lorraine Heath, this one's Lenora Bell. They look so so good. She ends up having a kiss with a stranger at midnight and she is captivated by him but then he claims to be the distant heir of her father's dukedom and like wants to take her money and he's a gambler living life on the edge and then this one the publisher was like it's like an office romance and historical romance times so he's a duke in need of a duchess and he places an <laughs> an advertisement for single ladies of the ton to write why they should be the chosen and leaves his efficient secretary to select his future wife and she I think is his secretary so she has to find the perfect bride for him I love romances where they have to find each other a, a, like a match and they fall in love in the process so these two I'm really excited for and I'm hoping to read them soon oh shoot I forgot an entire stack in front of me Wow. Okay, let's get to these. We have The Vanished Days by Susanna Kearsley. I was sent this from the publisher. Scottish historical romance. We have The Witch Haven by Sasha Payton Smith, which is a witchy young adult book. I was sent this from Simon and Schuster. So, oh, and it's historical. So it's in 1911. And she is a seamstress and her brother died. Oh my gosh. And then she's attacked and ends up killing the guy. So, Sounds fun. Then from the publisher I got I Kissed a Girl by Jeanette Alexander. This one is a sapphic romance and she's an actress. That's exciting. And then it's with a makeup artist. So that sounds very fun. I'm excited for that. We have an arc of The Keeper of Night by Kylie Lee Baker and this one says a half reaper half Shinigami soul collector seeks her destiny in this haunting must read fantasy set in 1890s Japan. Sounds very fun. I also got an arc of The Roughest Draft by Emily Wiberly which and Austin Seaman Broca. This I think is their debut adult romance which sounds really fun. So they are co-writing literary darlings until they hit a plot hole that turned their lives upside down. So they were the bride brightest literary stars three years ago but they ended their partnership on bad terms so they're forced to reunite and I think they fall in love sounds really really good this comes out in January I also pre-ordered fast pitch by Nick Stone this is middle grade but it is a softball book and I played softball growing up and so I was really excited so I had to get it. I was also sent a copy of The Cabin by Jacinda Wilder and this one says one year ago I buried my husband. Now a year later it says a letter from him, a last request, a secret will, trust me my love, one last time, trust me, sometimes the epilogue to one story is the beginning of another. So I wonder if he's gonna like push her to be with someone else. I don't know. Sounds interesting. I also bought a couple a while ago. So these are from like right after my last book haul I got A Bullet Between Us by Kay Dossel. This one is a mafia romance. Excited to read that one. I also got Diary of Blood which is a romance kind of inspired by Dracula I think and I know that Riley loved this so I got it. It's pretty short and I also got The Atlas Six which is a dark academia book and it's about the Library of Alexandria 
I just know it's very spooky, I think, so I'm excited to read that one. And then Sophie Lark was super sweet, and then for my birthday, she offered to send me a signed copy of a book of hers, so she sent me Ivan, and she did sign it and personalize it for me, which is very exciting. This one is a mafia romance, actually, and it's different from her other series. So it says, she tried to kill me, and now she's my prisoner. I haven't read the series yet, but I'm excited to. Then I bought The Dating Playbook by Farrah Roshan. This one is a fake dating romance, and it is a personal trainer with an NFL football player trying to get back into football. So I'm really excited to read this one. Grace Calloway also sent me a copy of Pippa and the Prince of Secrets. This is book two in the, like, Charlie's Angels series. I don't remember what the series is called, but it, oh, The Lady Charlotte Society of Angels, which is basically Charlie's Angels, and this one I think is her friend's story and she's a widow. I'm super excited to read this one. Lex Martin then sent me a copy of The Varsity Dad Dilemma, which sounds so good, our heroine. It's a college romance, and she lives next to a bunch of football players, one of which is her brother. Someone leaves a baby on their doorstep and says one of you's the father, <laughs> but doesn't say who it is, so she feels responsible because her brother's one of them, and she helps take care of the baby and falls in love, I think, with the quarterback. Oh, and it's a second chance romance, so he broke her heart three years ago. So I am really excited to read this. And I also bought Where the the Little Birds Go by B. Celeste. B. Celeste is going to be at a signing I'm going to next year, so I wanted to try out more of their books, and it is a high school heartbreak turned Hollywood affair. So it sounded interesting. Okay, now we will get to the historical romances. I'm not going to tell you what they're about. I'm just going to show them to you. So I got Someone to Love by Mary Balog. I know this is the first in a series that I'm excited to get to. This one was on clearance, and that is Night of Darkness by Kinley McGregor. This is, I think, book two in the series, though. But I'm excited because I want to read some of Kinley McGregor's books, and this one is like King Arthur era and Camelot, so that's exciting. I also got a lot by Phoebe Kahn, so I got No Sweeter Ecstasy, and then I also got Savage Storm. I just really wanted this one, and they came in a lot together because it has a ship in the background. We know I love ships. I also went to Half Price Books for this these three. So I got The McK McKinnons, McKinnons? The McKinnons Bride by Tanya Ann Crosby. This is actually a independent published one, and that was at Half Race Books, so I was excited to find that. Also, I got Emerald Fire by Phoebe Kahn. Another Phoebe Kahn on a ship. I had to buy it. And then we have On Rapture's Wing by Caroline Byrne. And it's got a ship in the background too. You know, I'm a sucker for a ship. I had to buy it. I also got this entire lot by uh, Amanda Quick. If you watch my vlog where I read Lisa's favorites, I showed all these already, but I got With This Ring, which doesn't have a step back. And then I got Mischief, which doesn't have a step back either. But then I got Deception, which I already want to read because it's a pirate romance with that step back. Super pretty. I have Desire, which has this step back as well, which I really love that as well. We have Reckless with this step back. And then we have Ravished, which I already have, but it's got this step back, which I'm probably gonna end up having to give that away because I already have a copy of that. I have Surrender, which is this one. I love how they all match the color of the cover. We have Rendezvous, which has this step back. We have Scandal, which has this step back. This one has the dragon. This one's iconic. And then we have Dangerous, which has this step back. Then my friend Megan hunts down historical romances, so I bought a bunch from her. So the first three are from Joanna Shoup. It is this series by her. So we have The Lady Hellion and The Courtesan Duchess, and then we have The Harlot Countess. So I'm excited to have these. They're super pretty. I love Joanna Shoup, so it's going to add to my collection. I also got a couple of Christina Sky. So I got East of Forever with this really pretty step back. I love that one. And then we have Come the Night with this step back, which I showed on Instagram this past Saturday. And then I have three. So another Christina Sky is the Black Rose, which has a, a mask. I don't know why she he's holding the mask. Maybe that has something to do with the book inside. And then Defiant Captive by Christina Sky. And then the last one is a Katherine Anderson, which is Simply Love with that super pretty step back. Okay, that was really long, but those are all the books that I got in the past month. Let me know if you've read any of these and what you've gotten recently. I would love to hear. As always, thank you so much for watching and have a good day.